911, what's your emergency? Hi, I'd like to report a break-in. Okay, stay where you are. Are they in your house right now? We'll be sending someone- Oh no, they may have been inside my bedroom last night. W what do you mean, ma'am? This morning, I found some photos on my phone of me sleeping, and I think it may have been an intruder. What's your name, ma'am? What? Oh, um, Naomi. Uh, Naomi Dennis. Okay, Naomi, was your phone where you left it when you went to sleep last night? Um, yeah, it was. It was, um, on my desk next to my bed. And you think it was an intruder? Do you live with your parents, uh, flatmates? Um, yes, I live with two other girls. We live on campus, um, at the Sedgwick North Uni. Oh, God. Naomi, Naomi, please, it's okay. You say you went to, eat, um... You said you go to Cedric North. What do you study? Um, I study medicine. Oh, you want to be a doctor? That's so cool. Yeah, um, I want to help people. That's really amazing. Hey, listen, you can help me by talking to me and telling me if your bedroom door or your apartment door looks like it's been damaged in any way or there's obvious signs that someone has broken in. Um, uh, uh, there's nothing. The, the door looks fine. Okay, did you hear any knocks or bangs or any noise of disturbance last night? No, not at all. Okay, we're going to send an officer over right now, okay, Naomi, to check the scene. Okay, everything's going to be okay. Okay. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, um, I'd like to report a break-in, please. Okay, ma'am, please stay where you are. Where are they? Are they in your house? We'll be sending someone. They may have come into my flat last night because, um, there's more photos of me on my phone sleeping. Wait, is this Naomi Dennis? Um, yeah. Um, I called about two weeks ago because the same thing happened, um, now a second time. An officer did come to your apartment after our phone call, right? Yes, but, um, they told me to lock all my doors and windows, and that's exactly what I did for the past two weeks, um, including last night. Uh, but, um, this is, this has happened again. Naomi, honey, please. Everything's gonna be okay. We'll be sending someone over to investigate. That's what happened last time, but it's just going to happen again. Naomi, please do not raise your voice at me. Let me see what I can do. Are you available between um, 11 and 1 p.m. tomorrow? What? Um, yeah, my first exam finishes at 10. Why? We can schedule an interview with a few detectives if you'd like to file a complaint. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I can... I want to do that. Okay, good. Please, uh, stay on the line while I transfer you. Okay. Okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Look, I know how mad I'm sounding. You do not have enough evidence to make a claim, Miss Dennis. And you're not listening to me. Okay? Someone broke into my apartment and took photos of me while I was fucking sleeping. I don't feel safe in my own apartment. And as we've discussed, Miss Dennis, we can't really do anything unless you have sufficient evidence. And as I've told you three times before, the whole campus was affected by a thunderstorm on June 4th. And for some reason, the electricity cut off from the security cameras between 8 and 11 p.m., which coincidentally was when the photos were taken on my phone at 8.47. But don't you have security guards on campus? You know, when these claimed things happened, you notified your security on campus, didn't you? I swear we're going around in circles in this conversation. There was no evidence of a break-in, no one entering my apartment at all, nor could the police officer that you sent around could find anything either. Which is why I'm saying for the several time now, Miss Dennis, you know, this could have been a prank. How many students live on campus? 400? 500? It's the middle of exam week. No one's having a party. All right, it's the middle of exam week. Okay, I'm a med student. I have six exams. I finished my fourth one this morning. No one's doing anything. And I don't want to be dealing with a police report in the middle of them. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing we can do without any concrete evidence of a suspect. You know, the security footage would have been a big lead if, and that's a big if, if there was an intruder. So what am I supposed to do from here? Well, pray this intruder might come back, so then the security cameras would, you know, photograph him, or your flatmates would stop these pranks.
and stop wasting our time. Oh my god, how many times do I have to say it? This is no prank, all right? I closed and locked my bedroom door every single night, even before the first photo appeared, even during the period between the first and second photos, and then even after the police officer arrived. So I've been as patient as I can, Miss Dennis, but the only thing I can suggest is locking every window, door, or any type of entry into your apartment or your door, and hopefully they don't come back, which is your best bet. That's been what I've been doing for the past- That's all I can help you with, Miss Dennis, please. If there's an intruder at all. This is the reason why people don't trust police. That'll be all, Miss Dennis, please.